Welcome to the School of Motion Graphics. My name is CM De La Vega, and today's tutorial is a practical tutorial because it is based on a work that I did a couple weeks ago for Telemundo. So let me show you exactly what I did for them. Diego Hidalgo es un problema. Me meto con la esposa de un arco muy poderoso. So we'll be creating this cutout effect. It's pretty simple, but effective. And I'll be showing you the basics. And from there on, just use your imaginations and let it soar. Let's start out by importing our footage. Hit Control I, and I will select this footage. And the next step is to drag into the composition icon and it'll create a composition with the same resolution and the same frame rate as your footage. So you can see 1920 by 1080 and it's 23.976 frames per second. We go to our footage, exactly the same. So let's go back to the comp, hit Control K and let's rename it to cut out. And for the start time code, let's reset it to zero and hit OK. OK. Now we need to review our footage and we need to figure out exactly where we want it to freeze. So for this example, I want it to freeze and start the cutout at 10.05. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a marker. So make sure if you add a marker and you have a layer selected, for example, right here. And by the way, the keyboard shortcut is the asterisk on the numpad. If you hit the, the little asterisk or the multiply, that adds a marker. But since we had this layer selected, it added a marker right here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to undo. I want to add a marker right here to the ruler bar. So what I need to do is I need to unselect all the layers and then do the same process. Hit the little asterisk and then it adds a marker right on the ruler bar. So let's go in, right click and go to settings. I'm going to put freeze. And what I like to do in After Effects is I like to add markers and, and give myself little instructions like, for example, freeze, start, end. And those little notes helps me because I know that I need to either start a transition or I need to animate this at the specific point in time. So it's just a little reminder just to help you out. Now, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to splice this layer and we're going to hit control shift D and it'll splice. It'll cut this layer into two and this top one hit enter and we'll call this cut out. This bottom one, we'll call it video. And for the cutout, let's right click, go to time, and let's freeze it, freeze frame. So let's check it out. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is let's make another copy of cutout, control D, and let's rename it, hit enter, and let's call it BG for background. And let's bring it down. And for now, we're going to hide it. We're going to bring it back later in the tutorial. Now, the next step is we need to cut out your subject from the background. And to do this, you can go into Photoshop, but for me personally, I like doing it in After Effects. We're already in After Effects. I don't really, I really don't want to go into Photoshop and come back. So what you can do is just go to the pen tool. And this is actually what I did. Go to the pen tool and just take your time and just cut it out. Now, this is going to be a little time consuming. It actually took me maybe about five minutes. So I'm not going to go through the process and bore you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this mask delete this mask and you can see in this one I have it already cut out so I'm gonna borrow this one I'm gonna do edit copy go to this one and paste it in and I'm gonna show you so you can see that it's a lot of dots you know I actually took my time to cut it out and let me show you some of the mask properties okay we drill down here you can see that I added a feather of one pixels and I shrunk the mask by two pixels. So you can expand it or you can shrink it. So I shrunk it by two pixels. Uh, let's add a border. So let's go to layer new solid and let's call this border. You can make it white. And let's bring it down and let's trim this layer, this border layer. And we can trim it by moving it, pulling it. Or what we can do is we can use a keyboard shortcut which is the best way and it's to use all in the left bracket because we want to trim it to the end point. The end point is the left bracket and the out point is the right bracket. So all and left is for to trim it to the end point. And once again, go to the mask. We're going to hit control C to copy and go to the border control V to paste. 
and if we hit M for mask and we drill down, we can, what we're going to do is let's go to the mask expansion and let's expand it to about 15 pixels. Perfect. Looks really nice. Now at this step, you have a choice amigos. What you can do is you can select the cutout and the border and you can pre comp it. You can go to layer pre compose and it'll be all in one composition. And you can do that for this example. I'm going to, I'm not going to pre compose it. I'm going to leave it very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to parent the border to the cutout and I'm going to actually select these two layers and let's color code it. Let's make it this color. That way I know that these two layers are in a group. And what I'm going to do is go to the cutout. I'm going to hit Y for the anchor point and wherever the anchor point is, just make sure that it's in somewhere in the center and hit S for scale and let's scale it up a little bit. Let's put a keyframe. Let's go forward about four seconds and let's scale it up to about 110. So we're scaling it up 10% and let's check it out. Nice. Okay. It's looking good. Now what we're going to do is let's bring in the background and hit T for opacity and let's bring the opacity down to 20% and let's check it out. Okay. Now for the Telemundo graphic that I did for the cutout for Telemundo, what I did is I added a couple effects for the color. So go to the cutout and I added equalize and I went back and I added tritone and in tritone. You can choose your very own color. And then for the background, I also added tritone and actually made it blue. So let's check it out. Now you feel free to use any other effects. You know, you can also go into Photoshop. You can add some effects in Photoshop. You can add other effects here. This is totally up to you. If you don't like the tritone equalize, you can leave it like this. You can add it levels. You can see that it's, it's kind of light, you know, maybe you just want to leave it like this. This is fine. This is, this is totally up to you. You're the designer. You make that decision how you want to make this you know, this graphic and the look of this graphic. Okay. So it's looking good. And the last thing is a text. Go grab the text tool and let's type in the name and I'm going to type in CM de la Vega. And in this case, I'm going to put it behind the border and the cutout. And by the way, I'm using the prohibition font, which comes with Adobe type kit which if you're using Adobe After Effects, you should have access to Adobe Typekit. You can just click on it and download it and automatically it will install. What I did is instead of a fill, I just made it with a border, gave it a border of five pixels. This is something that you might have to experiment. You might want to give it a little bit more of thickness, maybe a little bit less, totally up to you. Everything else should be standard. I set the horizontal and the vertical scale to 100%. The spacing, the kerning, I put it to 25 and I made it 250 pixels. Okay, now let's animate this. Let's animate it and it's very simple. Oh, by the way, let's go to the freeze and let's trim this layer. Alt left bracket, let's trim it here and let's drill down and let's use a per character animator and let's go to the scale. Let's bring this up so you can see. Now, usually I would play around with the start and the end, put keyframes, but for this example, keep it very simple. We're only going to animate the scale and let's go forward seven frames from 10.05 to 10.12. Just seven frames, put another keyframe and let's go back to the first one and let's make it, you'll see the text. If we decrease it, we'll make it all the way down to zero. And then this one, right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy, easy in. And what we can do is we can highlight these keyframes. Let's go to the graph editor and let's zoom in here. Let's highlight this, this point and let's bring it in. So what this will do is it'll start out very fast, then it'll slow down. So let's check it out. Let's see it. Nice. And you know, you can get fancy. You can go in, you can add a glow, go to stylize. Let's see, stylize glow. 
can add a little bit of glow. You can play around with the radius, the intensity. And that's it, amigos. This is a basic cutout effect that you can use. Obviously, a sound effect will go a very long way, will help sell it as well. And this is something that is only supposed to last for two to three seconds, not very long. You know, you can get fancy. Obviously, I kept it very simple. You can make this 3D layers and you can rotate it if you want. I've done that in the past. I've rotated it. Uh, if you do decide to go this route, I would definitely recommend pre-comping the cutout and the border. Let's undo. But this is enough for you, hopefully, to get started, to be creative, add more effects, add more things. You can add more graphics going in the background. You can make it do different things. But like I mentioned, hopefully this is a, a starting point for you to grab, to get ideas, generate ideas, to see what you can come up with in your very own motion graphics. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. Now, if you want to get started in the field of motion graphics, make some money, check out the book that I wrote. It's available on Amazon. I put a link to the book in the description below. And amigos, always remember that life is truly a gift. So make it count.